In the 1980s, we were proud of the city. L.A. was glamorous. But if you went around to the other side, L.A. could be a very dark place. I was on the freeway, and here comes somebody speeding, and all of a sudden he just swerves around my car. It's like he's right there, like a moment stop. And he has this horrible big grin, and he's missing all these teeth. He just stared at me like a killer clown. You got us a serial killer. There was no doubt about it. This was a pretty sick individual. The so-called night stalker who has terrorized California. The same man is suspected in six to eight murders and 25 to 30 attacks. He's someone that will go into a home at night and will kill. I woke up to a very loud noise, to which I responded, John, and immediately, I knew it wasn't John, but something was there. There was no pattern. Anyone could be a victim. He went after old people, young people, men, women. It's unheard of. We've never encountered anybody like that in criminal history. Everybody was talking about it. I'm scared. I think everybody else is scared. It's a cruel Pressure was on cruel to stop the madman that was doing all this. So we start trying to piece all this puzzle together. We were in for a roller coaster ride. It's the only time in my entire life that I slept with a gun. There's pentagrams on walls. It just keeps getting creepier. And he waited until he saw the fear in her eyes, then he shot her. What causes a person to do what he does? I said, I won't scream. I swear upon God. And he said, I swear upon Satan. I swear upon God. You could sense it. There's evil in that man. It's a cruel, cruel.